Hey guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back. So today I have a large haul video for you. It's going to be Ulta, Sephora, Nordstrom, and I've accumulated all this stuff over probably a couple months. So it's not like I purchased this all right away. I have a lot to show you. So let's jump right in because it's going to be a long video. I can already tell. So the first thing that I picked up a while back, actually, I probably picked this up when it, like, I think I actually bought this the day that it came out online at Ulta.com and it's the Lorac Pro 2 palette, and I'm sure you guys have seen tons of videos on this, but I just wanted to mention it in this video. Now, today is the first day that I've actually used it, so I've probably had it for over a month or so, and I'm just now using it. So, yeah, here's all the colors. So I did do a get ready with me with the look that I'm wearing today with this palette, so that will be up eventually. So yeah, picked up the Lorac Pro 2 from Ulta. I also picked up the new Naked palettes. These are the Naked Flushed palettes. Um, all right, so the first one is Naked Flushed in Native. So I like the packaging on these. It's just cute for travel. It's magnetic, um, nice solid packaging. So this one's the one in Native. It has a really nice cool toned pink and a highlight and a bronzer. And I don't know that I actually have used this one. It's been sitting there waiting for me to use it. So those are the swatches of Native. And I, ha I haven't used that palette yet, so I can't really give you my thoughts on it. But if I have used some of the products, I will definitely let you know my thoughts on them. Um, the next one is in Streak. And this is the packaging that they come in. I ordered these online, and one of them, I posted a picture on Instagram when I got it. But for some reason, I have bad luck when I purchase blushes online. A lot of times they arrive broken. Oh, look at this. This one's already breaking. What the heck is going on? These are very, very soft. So if you drop these in any way, they are going to break. Oh, that's really frustrating. So anyways, one of them, one of them came shattered. So I went to the store and I just exchanged it. So this one is in Streak and it has more of a, I think this is the one with a corally shade. And I like the, the bronzer on this one. I think it's more a little more cool toned. So I do like this one more, the bronzer in this one more. Um, I don't feel like it looks as orange. But the blush is like a coral shade. And then the highlight is, it's kind of like a, oh my god, it looks almost like a rose gold. I don't know, it's really pretty. And I hope the lighting's okay. It's like about 6 o'clock and have my ISO all the way up as bright as it. Oh, this made a mess all over my desk. Are you kidding? I swear I have bad luck when I buy these things online. Anyways, it's all over my vanity. Okay, hold on. I gotta clean this up before I go to the next one because it's gonna drive me crazy. I already tell that it's getting dimmer, so I need to hurry up with this video. Okay, the next one is called Strip. And this one's like for deeper skin tones, but of course I picked it up anyways. Um, so the highlight's probably going to be too dark for me, but I do like the blush. The bronzer's really pigmented on this one. The blush, I would say, is kind of a mauve-y mauve shade. Highlight, let's see. I am making a mess today. Yeah, the highlight is going to be too dark, so... This is definitely for darker skin tones. So we will see though, I can make it work. I can always make it work. I am just, I'm a hoarder, so it's not like I need any of this stuff most of the time. I just, I like to buy new things. I'm just addicted, what can I say? So from Ulta, I picked up the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation, and I picked this one up in 5.0. And the reason that I did that was because I had purchased the lighter shade, like one of the lightest shades, um, but I had been tanning, so I picked this up quite a while ago, and of course I haven't kept up with myself tanning, which is horrible. So I'm kind of contemplating taking this one back, but I really want to apply myself tanner, but I just get so busy that it's just hard for me to maintain my tan. So I've been meaning to do like a self-tanning video because some people did request that. But I don't know, I tried to film it one day and I don't like the way it turned out, so I deleted it and I haven't filmed again. So I don't know, we'll see. Um, I picked up the Urban Decay Revolution lipstick. It's the Urban Decay Revolution lipstick in Liar. 
and I love this lipstick. It's beautiful. It's a must-have. It's creamy. It's pigmented. It's just a beautiful nude shade. And the reason that I bought this was because of Flower Bomb 31. Natalie from Flower Bomb 31. I will put her channel down below. If you guys are not subscribed to her channel, you should definitely check it out because she hauls a lot of high-end products. And then she actually goes back and tells you about all the products that she purchased later to see if you know they're worth the purchase basically and she does a lot of high-end products so I've kind of been dipping my toes into high-end products because of her she has lots of great recommendations so I highly recommend her channel so next let's move on to Sephora I picked up three new Becca blushes and I've had some of these for a little while and one of them is more of a recent purchase I actually purchased this one and showed it in my recent weekly favorites um, so this one is called Wild Honey, and these are the Becca Mineral Blushes. So yeah, this one is Wild Honey. And these are so smooth. They blend out really nicely. I just really love my warm tone shades lately. So that is Wild Honey right there. Beautiful shade. So. The next one is called Songbird, and I love this one as well. It's beautiful. And that is what it looks like. Very warm toned. These are all very warm toned. And I do have all the Becca blushes now and I really, really like them. So I would say this one's a little bit more, I would say it's like an orangey, I don't know. It's an orange with like a gold sheen to it. It's really, really pretty. This is almost like a terracotta down here, this wild honey. Ulta now has a Becca. Is that crazy or what? I was like wondering, you know, I wish really, I was just thinking recently, I wish Ulta would carry Becca products. And then I got an email this morning and it said they are. I'm like, Wah! really excited about that. So this next one is called Damsafly or Dam, Damsafly? Damselfly? I'm probably saying that wrong. I butcher names all the time on my channel and I look like an idiot when I do, but you know, hey, I don't know every single word in the dictionary. I just don't. So out of all of the colors, this is probably my favorite. This one right here. Cause it's a little bit more of a peachy, peachy shade and it does have also a little bit of a gold sheen to it. It's just really, really pretty. So I love that. So I picked up another one of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. I have a few of these and I really like them. Um, they're just really amazing quality. They blend out effortlessly and they're just so finely milled. They're just amazing. So they are a little bit pricey and that's why I haven't purchased every single color, although I want them all. Um, I did have a Sephora coupon for 10% off my entire purchase, so that's why I decided to pick up another one. I love the packaging on these. This one is called Diffused Heat. And... You do really have to look at these in store because I picked one up. I was at the register waiting for somebody else to check out and I opened it to look inside because I always have the bad luck and end up with the broken one. When I get to the car, I open it up and it's broken. So then I have to go back in. So I always check my stuff before I purchase it. And I opened this one up and I looked at it and the veining on here is different on all of them. So the one that I picked up, it had very, very little of the blush and more of the ambient lighting powder in it. So I went back and switched it out for a different one that had more of the veining of the blush because obviously it's a blush and I want it to have, you know, more of the blush color in it than the powder. So this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. So I'm excited to try that one. I haven't used that one yet. Also from Sephora, I picked up the Cover FX Illuminator, and I've talked about this a couple times in like a weekly favorite, I think a monthly favorite or something like that. I've used it in a couple tutorials. And the reason that I picked this up was because of Melissa Parada, and she just highly recommended this and was kind of obsessed with it. So I thought, you know what, I haven't tried it, I'm gonna give it a try. When I bought it and I looked at it, because I ordered it online, and I looked at it in the pan, I was like, this looks like nothing special. And even when I first swatched it, I was like, this doesn't look like anything special. But honestly, this is my new favorite highlighter. There's something about the way this looks on the skin. It looks, I don't know, a lot of highlighters tend to accentuate my pores and my acne scars on my cheek area. 
Um, it just like kind of settles into the pores and like the fine lines and everything. This is the one highlighter that does not do that. It just looks so flawless on the skin. It's like a glow from within. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's just the best highlighter that I have found for me because it doesn't accentuate anything. Um, it's just very subtle. It's very finely milled, and I think that's why it's so amazing is because it's not really frosty, but it is a very subtle highlight, and it just oh, looks so beautiful on the cheeks. So anyway, this is called Moonlight. I didn't even tell you what it was called. So it's called Moonlight, and they do have two shades. This is the lighter of the two. I don't know what the other one looks like because the local Sephora's here do not carry these in store that I've seen. I've even asked the associate, and they said no, they don't have them in store. So I had to purchase it online, basically is what I'm trying to say. All right, moving on. So at Sephora, I also picked up this Cover FX Illuminating Setting Powder. And I got the mini version. This one was up at the front with the checkout where it was like kind of a mini size. This one was $10, which I thought was good because it comes in this little pot here. And I feel like this is a good amount of product for $10. It's four grams of product. So this will definitely last me a little while. So I swatched it up at the front and I just really liked the way that it looked. I mean, it looked illuminating, but not overly shimmery. Um, let me just give you a little swatch. I don't know if you can tell. They had two. They had this one in light and then they had a darker one. Do you see that kind of glow that it gives? So I've been using this all week long and I'm really not sure how I feel about it to be honest. Um, I've used it under my eyes to set my under eye area, which that's what I'm not sure about. I don't know if I like it for setting my under eye concealer. But I've been using it on my face kind of as an all over powder and I think I like it more for that but I'm still testing it out so I'll probably have this in a upcoming weekly favorites video um, of my weekly loves and letdowns to really give you my thoughts on it. So, so also from Sephora I picked up two new foundations. Um, these are by Makeup Forever. I've never tried these before. Um, this one is the first one I picked up. It's the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Foundation. And I don't know how I feel about this. I might return it. I'm not sure yet. This is in the shade, what color did I get? I don't know. what. Oh, this is N120. So that's what it looks like. It has more, I would say, of a maybe satin finish. But I have to use it some more. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I wasn't really wowed by it when I first use it the first couple times, so I'm still debating about that one. The other one I picked up is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. I've heard a ton of people talk about this and I thought I'd give it a try. So this one comes in this little bottle right here. And the shade that I got is in, I think, number 30. These have numbers, which drives me crazy. Yeah, number 30. And it's oil-free, it's a mattifying foundation, it's full coverage. Um, I've used it quite a few times. I'm also still trying to find out if I love this. Um, right now, full coverage matte foundations haven't been my favorite. I'm I'm going more for the satin to kind of dewy finish foundations. So I feel like I like this one more though than the HD. I don't know. But I still need to test them both out a little bit more. Um, the only thing with this one, I feel like... I feel like the HD one has a good color selection. Like this one's a little bit more yellow toned, which works better for me. And then this one is number 30, and I feel like it's a little bit pink toned, but the next shade up is too dark for me, so that doesn't work. Um, I might have to mix two shades together, but I'm still trying to, you know, use these and form my opinion about them. But I wanted to try them because I have never used those. So the next product that I picked up, this one I actually got from Ulta, so let's jump back over to Ulta. This is the Smashbox Soft Lights. This is like a sh illuminator or highlighter. It comes in this little box. And this is what the packaging looks like. So I already have one of these in the pink shade. I don't remember the name of the pink one, but this one's called Shimmer. And it's a little bit pink toned as well, I would say. But the other one's a lot pinker. And I always watch this when I go into Ulta and Sephora and I've been wanting it forever. And I finally just decided to Take the, plur take the plunge and purchase it. So that's what it looks like. It is a little bit more pink, beige toned. Um, 
and it's okay though it's okay I do like it it gives a beautiful glow on the cheeks but after using the illuminator from cover FX that one I just showed you it's just nothing compares to it honestly nothing compares to it I think it's the best highlighter for me it is just amazing so I don't know I don't know I almost feel like getting rid of all my highlighters and keeping the one from cover F FX because I would use that one every single day and be happy all right, so let's move on to Nordstrom. So at Nordstrom, I picked up the Estee Lauder Pure Color Illuminating Powder. This is the Galee Blush, and this is the beautiful packaging that it comes in. I picked this up quite a while ago, maybe like a few weeks ago. This one's called Crystal Baby. It was literally calling my name, and oh, the packaging is just beautiful, of course. I haven't even swatched this or used it yet. My friend Amanda from uh, Amanda Elizabeth, she she's asked me, like, you never told me if you like it. I'm like, I haven't used it yet. It's just too pretty. I don't want to put my finger in it. See how pretty that is? Oh, it's just beautiful. So let's swatch the corner of it. Oh, yeah, that's really, really pretty. That's pretty. Yeah, really pretty. I don't find this is a must-have and I probably won't use it that much, but it was just so darn pretty I couldn't pass it up. I mean, this color is not something that I would use a lot for illuminator. I think I would use this more as a topper for a blush. So if I put like a pink blush on, I would kind of dust that lightly over it just to give it a little bit of a glow. Um, so that's probably what I would use it for. It's getting darker and darker outside, so I gotta keep changing the settings on my camera. So, so my husband and I ordered a pizza, so it is 7.13 right now, and the pizza is supposed to be ready at 7.30, so I need to hurry up. I have three more things to show you, and then I'm done. So the next set of products are from Burberry. I got these at Nordstrom.com, and my local Nordstrom's doesn't carry Burberry in store, so it's kind of a bummer because I wanted to swatch all these products in store before I picked them up. But these are also a Natalie Flower Bomb inspired purchase. She raved about these, so I had to pick them up. And I feel like I'm missing one. I am. I'm missing one. So I actually have four products. Okay, so these are the little boxes that they come in. And then this is the packaging. Isn't it just beautiful? And they have some weight to them. They feel really high quality. They don't feel cheap. So they are heavy. So this is a sheer eyeshadow in Pale Barley, number 22. And I don't even want to swatch them because they're so pretty. Just look how beautiful that is. So she raved about this and I had to pick it up. Oh, I haven't used these at all. Oh, that's just beautiful. Look how pretty that is. So yeah, pale barley. Beautifulness. And you know what? I forgot to mention it kind of slipped out of the packaging. So so these eyeshadows actually come in a little sleeve, aren't that aren't they so cute? Look at that. Little sleeve. Adorable. All right, so this next one is called Rosewood. It's number nine, and oh, this looks really pretty. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. They're really, really soft in texture. They're called sheer eyeshadows, and I would definitely say they're not like bam pigmented. I mean, they're pigmented, but they're not overly pigmented. So I feel like they would blend nicely because they're not too in your face pigmented where you have to do too much blending. I think you would just apply it really nice and easily onto the lid and it would be, it would just look good. So I'm really, really excited to use these. That is like the fifth time I've changed the lighting on my camera because the light outside, it's getting so dark. Okay, the last one that I have of the eyeshadows is called Midnight Brown number 21. Oh, this one looks so pretty. Look at that. Beautiful. Oof. I just have, I have to buy more of these. I already can tell I'm gonna love them. Wow. So that's Midnight Brown at the bottom. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I haven't even used these and I already know I'm going to love them and I will probably end up purchasing more in the future. <laughs> All right, so the last product is another Burberry product. This is the BB Light Glow Natural Blush. It's called Earthy Blush. Sorry, it's a long name, huh? So it's the Light Glow Natural Blush and it's called Earthy Blush. That's the name of it. And also Natalie had 
raved about this. Oh, the packaging is just gorgeous. Oh, let's just take a moment to look at the packaging because it's beautiful. So this is number seven. And this is the shade. They're so soft. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh yeah, this is a, this is like a beautiful blush. Absolutely stunning right there. Look at that. And it's so creamy smooth. Oh, it's like butter. That is such a pretty color. Oh, I cannot wait to use that. Oh, it's almost like a creamy beigey looking color. Oh, it's just beautiful. So I'm really, really excited about these, you guys. Um, oh, I never used to be into high-end makeup, but YouTube has enabled me to purchase purchase stuff. Oh. All right, guys, so that's it for my haul video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I probably have a upcoming drugstore haul video. Um, I have a lot of stuff I need to film as well when it comes to drugstore stuff, but I wanted to kind of separate these videos out. So again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.